first graders. <laughs> Trust me, I was not celebrating Cinco de Mayo a little bit early. All right. Well, hablamos en español por todo el día. That's for done. Oh, I was saying, should we speak in Spanish all day? I guess not. All right. Well, we are finishing the back side of yesterday's packet, and today we are learning what ARR says. We only hear the R sound once, and it says the air sound. All right, so it says air as in carry with A-R-R. -R. And that's what you're writing on your paper day that says carry the parrotfish is brightly colored. Nothing difficult about it. Just to remember, <laughs> do remember <laughs> the capital N period and finger spaces in between. All right, as I was saying with our air in carry sound, say that with me three times. Do we do it in Spanish or English? All right, I guess English for now. All right, air in carry, A-R-R, -R. air in carry, A-R-R, -R. air in carry, A-R-R. -R. And since there were only four words, I will help you with these. So we will circle air in carry, A-R-R, -R. and this is E as in rain E and marry. That's like when you're 26 years old and someday you might marry someone. All right, then we have sp in spade, air in carry, o in bowl, and we put those all together and we get sparrow, a little bird. And we have air in carry, and then I also point wanted you to notice this one. This is going to be our uh, in shovel sound, because it doesn't say care ought, does it? It says care at, where the O sounds like a U, so carrot. And then same with this word, air in carry, circle that O uh, in shovel, and of course that's the word parrot. All right, then you are going to, this one's actually done for you, circle the prefix and underline the root word. I'm going to help you out with a couple more. Just to point out, when you do need to circle the AL sometimes, not just the A, but go ahead and underline the root word first, most, then you'll know what the prefix is. It's the all in also, not just the A this time. You need the L with it. And look for the root word first this time as well, in wake. And then circle the a uh, in asleep. And then you have a wake. And then you have some words to spell. There are all of our clue words. And I know you just had this on spelling last week when you had your IR, ER, and UR sounds. So you know how to spell bird already, don't you? Make sure your B is going the right direction. We want the B to go away, so the stick is chasing the B. You will remember that bit is IR, and then make sure your dog is chasing the stick for bird. And I'll help you with one more in case you don't know what they're talking about. When the sun rises, as we know in the East from science, that is the word morning with or in morning and then ing in pointing, so morning. So if you need help with figuring out what any other clue words are, you can ask me. Otherwise, I think you know. This is worms, tooth, ball, knot, stars, and stop. So if you can't remember a special sound or what the word is, maybe you can go back and pause the video to find out what clue word you should be writing. And then our language. Very easy today too. You just have a story to read and some questions to answer about it that Sue and Sam love to play on the beach. Sam likes to make sand forts. Sue likes to draw sand art. They like to feel the hot sun on their skin. And the first one's even done for you. Where do Sue and Sam like to play? In the backyard, on the beach, or on the back porch? That's why on the beach has been filled in for you. I want you to read the next two sentences on your own and choose the right answer. All right, au revoir or hasta luego.